It's going to be tremendous out here in the West, and it's not just the Northwest like it's been. We bring it back into the Sierra. So let's take a look. You know, last year when we were talking about the snowpack, it was paltry, 19% of average. If you compare what the snowpack was last year to this year where we're at 80%, which is not bad, but we could do better, right? You know, we want to be at 100%. We need to be beyond that when it comes to the drought situation. So this is good news to see this forecast of what's to come in the next seven days. It's good to build out the snowpack. There will be some challenges that come with it. Travel is going to be very difficult, not impossible. A lot of wind coming in with the snow as well. The snow is going to be big. I mean, we're talking anywhere from you know three feet of snow and 12 hours kind of event as we look at Saturday into Sunday and then next week, another big push of moisture. The jet stream takes a dive in the west, dipping down as Steph was talking about things sort of flip as to what we've got going on right now and we get this moisture this atmospheric river event setting up and we will see tremendous rain it's going to be inches of rain uh, you know if you're watching about 10 minutes ago Steph was talking about flooding in urban areas and you know especially in the Bay Area storm drains that are not cleared out you need to do that because we're looking at inches of rain coming in some rain starting today but especially tomorrow and if your drains aren't cleaned out we're going to be dealing with some flooding issues the burn areas flood watches are up for that because because we're concerned about mudslides as we get inches of rain falling there. Over the next several days, we could tally up more than 100 inches of snow and maybe five or six or seven inches of rain in spots here in the West. In the Bay Area, they're getting ready for.